What's up, Buzzin? I'm Bree Says. I'm here with Kyle and David of Breeze Carolina. Let's ask them some questions. <laughs> no, don't look in advance. Uh, Ooh, cheating. I cheating. I won't cheat. Uh, what would you say is the best feedback or best compliment you got about this album so far? Uh, I mean, I think I think just from from our family and friends, you know, they, uh, just people that have come out on tours just saying what songs they like. You know, I mean, I, I think when they when they know the title of a track, you know, that that we haven't put out or something like that, I think that I think that that's how we know it's real, you know what I mean? Like, it's a way we can judge yeah, it. And um, also, we got that, what that, we were reading some cards earlier, and um, yeah, yeah. this kid said um, it's very diverse and powerful. I thought that was cool. cool. Yeah. Awesome. What would you say is the most like unexpected source of inspiration for any of the songs on this album? I mean, I think, I think we kind of look back on ourselves a lot, you know what I mean? We, we definitely experimented with this band a lot in its early stages you know the first album D produced himself and second album we worked with producers and got to you know dive into more live instruments and stuff and I think this album we just looked back on what we created and why we were here and, and really wanted to evolve our sound that way and not not completely like just go some other completely different direction we wanted to stick stick to our roots and and I think you know ourselves you know what I mean I think, I think that that's that, that's really it What's the song Wooly about? Where'd that title come from? Wooly, Did I say it right? Wooly. <laughs> the title, I mean, the title came from when we were making the song. When we, every time we make a song, we'll have the producer like email us mixes and he just nicknames because we don't have the title from yet. And he just kept calling it Wooly. I mean, we really didn't know why. Like, I mean, it's a crazy song, so I think he just put Wooly. And then we were like, should we just keep that as the name? So then we kept calling it. And then, see so yeah, how we kept it as the name. And um, just about, you know what I mean? Like, trying to save somebody that is in, in a sense like unsavable you know what I mean it's kind of like it's you you kind of reach a point where you're like kind of fed up like like the course is like I wish you well it's like you know what I mean I tried but now you're on your own type of thing like it's up to you it's up to you to save yourself yeah, yeah. Uh, your shows are like really energetic how do you do you have any like pre performance like rituals what do you do to pump yourself up just a couple brewskis and then I think we're chill couple yeah. Couple beers and just I mean I think just like seeing um, seeing the the crowd before we go on like that like you know I mean if, if you because you, you can tell how a crowd is gonna be right away you know what I'm saying like you take one look at it and I'm like all right I know it's gonna happen now and um, you know what I mean when you look at the crowd and they're just like waiting and ready you're like all right I'm pumped up now and I should stretch a lot that's why in the beginning of tours I'm sore for like a week super sore because I don't stretch but I need to start doing that so. <laughs> Do you guys have any like performer role models like when you were first starting out at least like you're like I want to be on stage I want to be like that person. Um, I'm trying to think. I mean my 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 mom's uh, my mom's husband always always like keeps saying that I that I remind him of uh, Iggy Pop when I'm on stage just because I'm flailing around all crazy <laughs> and going wild and I thought that that was kind of cool so I kind of watched some of his videos and stuff just to see like what they were talking about. And, it was cool. I think I got some inspiration from that. So yeah, yeah. I think for me, I, my favorite band in the world is Taking Back Sunday. So when we first started, I was like, dude, Adam Lazar is crazy on stage. So I was like, I want to be like that. But awesome. So you guys recently shot a music video for Blackout. So yeah. what's that all about? When's it coming out? Etc. Yeah, it should be coming out within the month. We would think we we got we got a first mix back, and so we'll just keep keep throwing them ideas, and I'll keep throwing throwing the mixes back. And uh, it's actually about it's basically multiple nights of us waking up and not knowing where we are or how we got there and just that's the idea of blacking out so um, yeah that's just that's just what it is we, we had an awesome time we did two, spent two days on it and out here in, in Los Angeles and it was fun man lots of extras we had our fans come out for a part and it was cool man. so it was, it was just like an fun. excuse to party it was not right, right 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 <laughs> and we, we, we really were drinking in that video now yeah. no acting no acting. acting. <laughs> no need to. <laughs> What's the weirdest thing any of your friends have told you you've done when you're blacked out? Oh, man. I mean, I just Alleg think... It's something you allegedly... Allegedly. Did. I just think it's funny hearing something. You're just completely like, dude, I have no idea. Like, I have many stories like that. <laughs> but, dude, you were crazy last night. I remember one time they told me that we pulled over, like, the side of the highway, and I kind of remember this, but I kind of don't. And I was just, like, staying in the middle of the yeah, highway, just pissing yeah. there. It was like semi trucks coming down I just wasn't moving I was just being like ah. 
word <laughs> you're screaming at him it is wild <laughs> like garth get in the damn van I, I, I call David Garth. I don't know why. Oh, that's cute. Garth, Garth Brooks, man. That's, that's a nickname. He has a, David has the weirdest nicknames. Man. It's Garth and Travis and all kinds of weird names. You just respond to anything, yeah? Yeah, well, I mean, certain people come with different things. Ludog calls me Trav. Yeah. Taze calls me Shav. Shav. <laughs> Shaver. Shade. Nickname well, signs, signs of affection. Yeah. Thank you. Um, what three things do you need for a good party? Or a good after party, even? Good after party? One, you need people, man. You need some. You need some. You need some good friends hanging out. I mean, you don't necessarily need some drinks, but hey, it'll help. It'll help boost the environment. You know what I mean? Uh, and then uh, it's a good atmosphere, man. Good. You got to get that lighting. You know what I mean? Get, 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 get that place. Oh well, obviously some tunes. You can't just have some music. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I can go on and on. And lastly. Uh, 2011 is half over. What's the best thing that's happened so far? And what's one thing that you're like, oh, I got to get this done before the year's over? I think just the record coming out for us, you know, I mean, that's that's a huge, that's a huge milestone for us. And, you know, third album and get, getting to this point and keeping alive in, in music. And that's, you know, can't ask for anything better than that, I don't think. I think the thing to get done, though, probably would be... Nothing, man. We're chill. Yeah. <laughs> we got it, man. We're doing all right now. All right. Got 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 to that point. You know what I mean? That that you know you would ask me a week ago, and that would have been my thing. Cool. Yeah. Well, thank you, guys. Yeah, thank you.